Good morning, FGG. Hey, how y'all doing? Hope you're having a great day. It should be a wonderful day. Why? Because we said so. Uh, we just got to make the most of it. Hey, I need you all to really pay attention to this because um, I got to uh, have one of those conversations. It's really clear. Uh, of late, we've had a lot of people, uh, well, that's an exaggeration. We've had some people who've uh, expressed concerns about the areas they work in and uh, some of them saying they just feel uncomfortable, things like that. I gotta say, this is not gonna be popular. Um, it's not even popular with me, but unfortunately it is what it is. Um, we work wherever Amazon sends us, right? That's our agreement. Our contract says that I'm in uh, Indiana, I'm in Prospect, LaGrange, I'm in Middletown, J-Town. Uh, we're all over. And Amazon decides where we go. Uh, they, they were gonna come up with a tool that was gonna give us the ability to assign areas to people ourselves. It's not fixed, it's not working, they, they, it's, and they have no idea when it will work. So therefore, we go wherever we go. And there's gonna be some people who say, you know, I'm just not comfortable going there. I, I, I gotta say this, because I'm, I'm not gonna keep having the conversation, so I'm gonna say this, and I hope you guys get it. Uh, if you're uncomfortable working in, in certain areas, that are the areas that we have, that would be any of the areas that I have, because anyone could end up in any of our areas, you probably need to go and look at one of the other companies that might have areas that you like. Pete, who is a friend of mine, the guy who owns that, he's in uh, Highland, and uh, the Highlands, and he's downtown Louisville, West End. Uh, that's all the areas he have. You know, uh, I think Teal is Highland, those same areas. Uh, XPLS is right around the shop, and, and Cane Run, and Dixie, all those areas, a little bit going out towards uh, uh, Fort Knox, things like that. There's, uh, my point of all this is that there's companies that might have the areas you have that you might be more comfortable with. And if that's the case, you know, I'm not going to stand in your way going somewhere that you may feel more comfortable. What I'm not going to do is have a conversation with anyone about the fact that I don't feel comfortable here. I don't want to go here. If you can't go wherever we are, this is not the right company for you. I hate to lose you because I like people, but at the end of the day, the business is the business, the job is the job, and people are people. You know, people act everywhere we go. Somebody's gonna display stupidity or ignorance everywhere we go. Somebody's gonna say something off the wall everywhere we go. It just happens, that's that's part of being business. It doesn't make a difference what business you're doing. If you're working here, if you're working at the grocery store, you're gonna always have some character who gets out of character or maybe in character for them. And they say things, they do things that are off the wall. It's how you, how you handle it, right? I mean, I've been in Indiana, but I have people say off the wall things to me. I've responded the right way and the wrong way. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it just is what it is. And it's like, oh, we're pulling in somebody's driveway. We're going in their area. They, you know, they got the drop on this place. I mean, come on, right? For kind out loud. Nobody's trying to go to jail over something stupid in the most cases. People just talk trash. They try to talk tough. If you, if you live a life at all, you understand when people talk tough. It's just tough talk. You walk away from the most, I always say, as long as you keep your hands to yourself. If you, God forbid, you try to put your hands on me, you're gonna find out. It'll be my last day with Amazon, but it'll be their last day here. Um, so don't get yourself caught up in all that unnecessary back and forth with people because there's it, it, it just no production in that, right? You know, pride is the reason why a lot of people have been locked up or killed, right? And I'm the one who has one of the biggest problems when it comes to that kind of thing. But I, you know, I've come to learn over the course of these 51 years of my life that most of this stuff is it's not even worth it, right? Once again, you keep your hands to yourself. Don't come towards me like you're gonna do something. Because if you do, then I'm gonna have to deal with it and you're gonna find out who I am. So I, I don't mean to discourage people, but at the same time, I need you to understand if you come to me and you say, I'm not comfortable here, my response is gonna be, you gotta go somewhere else. That's just what it is. It, it really is no claim. Yeah, you know, I, I have a business and this is a business we work where the business is, where the work is. And for everybody who's like, well, I just don't feel that's right. You just don't feel it's right. I'm apologizing. No, truthfully, I'm not apologizing. That's just the way you feel. Um, it, it is what it is. So I just want to say that. And for all those who, you know, you got to go somewhere else, you know, it was nice working with you. Now, everybody, beyond all of that, I appreciate you greatly. I appreciate all the hard work that the majority of you are doing on a regular basis. It is not going unnoticed. Thank you for all you do. God, I ask you to watch over this team and please bless them and please protect them like you have for us over this year and a half that we've been working. 
I thank you because nobody's ever been hurt, nobody's ever experienced, oh God, anything too major because you keep taking care of us. So we're actually keep on taking care of us, taking care of our families. Bless us to do well in life. Give us peace, give us joy. But Lord, let us have you in our life. I thank you for each and every person here. I pray your blessing on them. In Jesus' name, amen.